Senator Clinton and Senator Obama will square off Thursday in a CNN Univision-sponsored debate in advance of the Texas and Ohio primaries March 4th. The debate will be at the University of Texas. Many Texans, however, are simply furious about an issue that the presidential candidates are just trying their darndest to ignore. It's the plan to build a massive superhighway, the Trans-Texas Corridor, the NAFTA Superhighway, which will run from our border with Mexico across Texas, and that superhighway intended to go all the way up to Canada. Bill Tucker has the report. It's known as the TTC, the Trans-Texas Corridor, I-69, or just the NAFTA Superhighway. One, two, three, four. It's highly controversial. The proposed route from Laredo, Texas to Texarkana, Texas, would be a 4,000-mile network of new toll roads with truck and car lanes, rail lines, pipeline, and utility zones. Its projected cost, $183 billion over 50 years. The purpose of the Trans-Texas Corridor would be to speed up the movement of goods from Mexico to proposed inland ports in America. This is about international global companies that are coming in and having their way with our politicians and making sure that this kind of an international corridor happens. doesn't matter what it does to the people in the path. It doesn't matter what it does to the, our way of life. And that's not going over well with thousands of people in the way of the massive project who've shown up at town hall meetings held by the state. Citizens here are not going to bear the burden so Walmart can get their cargo into the U.S. cheaper and faster. So far, none of the companies interested in financing the corridor are American. And among its opponents, presidential candidate and Texas Congressman Ron Paul. We don't know exactly what the long-term plan on and what the motivation is. Is this part of the North American Union or is this just to enhance travel in Texas? And I suspect it's a lot more and it's very costly. It involves millions of acres that may be taken under eminent domain. And besides that, everybody I've run into in, the P in the Texas, the people here don't want it. The Texas Department of Transportation notes that three quarters of the traffic coming out of Mexico to the U.S comes through Texas. It argues that Texas has to find a way to accommodate the traffic and fund the corridor's construction. Frankly, we're in a different day and age right now, and the way we built our roadways 50 years ago simply isn't keeping up with the congestion that we're seeing here in Texas now. There is no voter approval needed for the project. So, like it or not, Texans could just have to live with the corridor, and the state is vowing to use eminent domain to lay claim to any landowners who oppose the project. And those opposed say they are not against new and better roads. They just would prefer to see the expansion and improvement of existing roadways rather than something on the size and scale of I-69 or TTC. Well, you know that expression that Texans love, I'm set up by their Department of Transportation, don't mess with Texas. Yes. They put it up in, in terms of protecting their roads and beautifying the highways. And this is really messing with Texas. You can't tell me that Governor Rick Perry and the head of the Department of Transportation down there, that they're dumb enough to say that because all of this traffic's coming out of Mexico, that the Texas, Texas citizens should be funding the highway that is needed as a result of that traffic. Well, the folks, That's absolutely idiotic. The folks at the Department of Transportation told me today, look, we can't, that's not my job, it's not our job to stop well, the trucks at the border. Well, whose job is it? It's, you know, these trucks are coming in, Who's we have to deal with it? them. Whose job is it? Uh, we'd say that's above their pay grade and it yeah, goes well, to Washington. I'll tell you what, well. it isn't above their pay grade. There isn't a single American who has, you know, that, that's a cop-out. Every American gets a voice on these issues, and every Texan certainly should. And i got to say, if people are putting up with this nonsense from their state government and, Go and Governor Rick Perry and their Department of Transportation, these aren't the Texans that I, that I know and who I respect mightily. I mean, to put up with this is just idiotic. Well, they're not putting up with it. By, by some of the estimations that I got this afternoon, 10,000 people have shown up at these 46 town, meet, town hall meetings, which wrap up this week. And they've been very vocal. There haven't been any supporters at these meetings. There have been a lot of opposition. Well, this is another example of trying to ram this nonsense through. Uh, you know, this is not, they're trying to be so cute. Uh, all of these folks who want to put together this highway that would run in their dreams from, uh, from Mexico to Canada. I, you know, I just, I cannot imagine why there isn't just complete outrage throughout the state of Texas at this. The very idea of it. Uh, you know, it makes no sense on any level. Well, we'll get a look at some of that outrage because we're attending some of the meetings tonight, Lou, and we'll be back to talk about that tomorrow. You got a deal. Bill Tucker, thank you. And uh, what happened to don't mess with Texas? I'm worried. I'm worried, I tell you. <laughs>
<laughs> that brings us to the subject of our poll tonight. The question is, do you believe the presidential candidates of both parties should be required to take a position on the North American Union and the NAFTA superhighway? Oh, God forbid. Yes or no. We'd love to hear from you on your thoughts. We'll uh, bring the results here later in the broadcast as you vote. Both parties should be required to take a position on the North American Union and the NAFTA superhighway. 97%. Well, back with Michael Goodwin, Hank Shankoff.